Hey everyone, quick little video here, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. I've got a uh, HP laptop here. It's, it's got a 11th gen or newer uh, Intel processor and uh, we are wanting to reinstall Windows 11 on this computer but I think this issue is gonna be the same thing for Windows 11 or Windows 10. So I'm gonna power this on just to show that the drive is being detected. This has an SSD uh, 512 gig in it. As you can see here, it's uh, loading Windows. Just to show, it's going to go ahead and load Windows, just, and that is going to show and prove that uh, the, the drive is being detected by the BIOS. And I just want to do a disk check here. That's one reason why I want to reinstall Windows on this computer. It does that every time you boot up. And as you can see here, it, it boots, it loads. So the, so the drive is being detected. And if I swipe up here, it'll go to the login screen. I can log into the computer just fine with no problems. But at this point in time, I want to reinstall Windows 11 on this computer. So, and so let me show you what happens when you go to load Windows 11 and Windows 10 on this particular system. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down. Okay, we're shut down here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my uh, Windows 11 media here and we're going to go ahead and boot to that as usual hit my escape button to get the boot menu going here okay we're going to hit f9 and we're going to boot to my flash drive okay as you can see here as usual we're just getting brought to the language uh selection for your windows 11 installation i'm going to just go next we're going to go install now okay we're going to go ahead and hit i accept terms and conditions what have you Next, we're going to do a, an install, a nice clean installation. So we'll click that to select our drives and whoa, what about this? This is my flash drive. Where is my 512 gig SSD? It is not listed. I've looked around in the BIOS for some settings and AHCI settings and all this uh, this reminds me of, of the old days of, of the Windows, or early days of Windows 7, uh, where your drive isn't showing up here. So, you know, I've changed some settings in the BIOS. The drive is there. The BIOS, the computer sees it. It's this Windows 10 installation that does not see this. Again, this is an 11th gen or newer uh, Intel processor. Let me show you what you have to do. Are we really resorting back to this, Microsoft? Okay, here's what we need to do. I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to take my Windows 11 media here. I'm going to mount this on my bench computer. I have navigated to HP support site. I've gone to the correct model number of the HP laptop that I'm having the issue with. I'm going to the driver section here. This is my, my model, the exact model of my, that's important if you want the exact model of your particular HP computer. We're going to do select operating system. Let's say Windows 11. We'll select version. I'll just say Windows 11. Submit. Okay. And then it's going to take you to the drivers page for that particular model laptop. I'm going to hit all drivers. And I'm going to scroll down to and get down to driver storage. I'm going to expand that. And what we want is the RST driver. This is the Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver. We want to go ahead and download that and just download it straight to your computer here. That should download. I've already downloaded it once, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Go ahead and show it in the folder. All right, so you can see there I've got the driver. Then you want to open up your installation media thumb drive which I've done here, just, just to get a visual here. But what you want to do uh, with this driver is right click it. And I've got 7-zip installed, so I want to extract the files. And it's going to ask me where I want to extract the files in, not the downloads obviously. We're going to browse. We're going to browse to that installation thumb drive, which is this one. Just select it and then click OK. And it will, it will download to that thumb drive. The folder in the folder will look something similar to this. This is kind of like the driver number. The SP, it'll be SP something with some numbers. 
So that is now on my Windows 11 storage flash drive that I have the Windows 11 installation media on. We have an extra folder added in there. That's what you want to see. You want to go ahead and close all this down. You want to eject the USB thumb drive from your bench computer and let's put it back into this laptop and let's try this installation again. We're going to go ahead and put that back into the computer and go through the same process again. Okay, here we are again at the beginning of the installation. We'll hit next, install now. Okay, we'll go ahead and accept the license. Hit next. We want to do a fresh install, so we'll go here. And of course, all we see right now is our thumb drive, but you'll see right down here it says load drivers. You want to load you want to click load drivers and you'll get this little error here. To install the device driver on your drive, insert the installation media containing the driver files, which we have the driver files. We'll hit browse. And there, right there, you see is our thumb drive with the Windows 11 installation media on it. And then there's our SP folder right there. What you want to do is expand that and select the F6 folder and click OK. Then you'll be presented with these uh, drivers that are on the uh, that are on the flash drive that it recognizes. Either one should work, but I'm just going to go ahead and select the first one. I'll hit next. And you can see here it's searching and looking. And there we have it. Now we see our 500 gig drive. There's also a very small 30 gig drive that's soldered to the motherboard. It probably uses that as some sort of a RAID. That's another reason why we probably need this RST driver to see it. Uh, hopefully, uh, in the future, Microsoft will incorporate that driver in their installation media. But for the time being, if you ever run into this problem, this is, this is like resorting back to those Windows 7 days. I remember them very well, where you have to load a driver in order to see the SATA drive. I remember those days when we were going from IDE to SATA, you had to load the SATA drivers. That was when Windows 7 first came out. And then you can just go ahead and install your uh, media any way you like. But that's how you get the drive to be recognized. Hope this helps somebody out, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Until next time, everyone, see you soon.